Ray Billingsley's story is one of great tenacity and passion. A veteran cartoonist and comic artist, Billingsley is best known as the creator of the strip Curtis. Debuting in 1988, Curtis was one of the first nationally syndicated comic strips to feature a mostly black cast. Today, the strip is widely read in print and digital platforms. However, as a young black cartoonist, Billingsley struggled to get the chance to portray his people through his work. Billingsley got his start cartooning professionally in 1969 when he was only 12 years old, joining an industry that featured some of the greats. Charles Schultz and Mort Walker, Peter Bailey, Jules Pfeiffer. I took something from everybody. They all inspired me in different ways, he says. But he traces the roots of his characters even further back, through family ties. Growing up in Harlem, his older brother was an artist who drew landscapes and portraits. Billingsley tried to mimic him, typical of younger siblings, but turned to cartoons since he was no good compared to his brother. I wasn't doing anything that the guys would do at my age around my neighborhood, Billingsley says. I really started my work at 8 years old. I was already drawing on everything and my third grade teacher, Mrs. Nelson, was the first one to actually see that I had any talent. Billingsley caught the attention of an editor for Kids Magazine while participating in a 7th grade art project in New York City. At just 12 years old, he was hired as a staff artist for the magazine and began cartooning professionally. Monday through Friday, they would send a car to drive him to the magazine's office downtown. His life immediately started to change. That didn't sit well among other 7th graders, Billingsley says, chuckling. <laughs> 